Hello, JTN2002 here, welcoming to you video number three, game three in the series. Let's play Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Here is the background to the game. Long ago, in the beautiful kingdom of Hyrule, surrounded by mountains and forests. Again, I apologize for the audio quality here. Legends told of an omnipotent and omniscient golden power that resided in the hidden land. Many people aggressively sought to enter the hidden Golden Land. But no one ever returned. One day, evil power began to flow from the Golden Land. So the king commanded seven wise men to seal the gate to the land of the Golden Power. That seal should have remained for all time. When these events were obscured by the mists of time and became legend, we zoom into Hyrule Castle. It's good to be a king. A mysterious wizard known as Agonim came to Hyrule to release the seal. He eliminated the good king of Hyrule. descendants of the seven wise men vanish, one after another. And here we see the sixth of seven. And here we go. And the time of destiny for Princess Zelda is drawing near. For she is the seventh. So... There we are. Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, in all of its glory. Before beginning the play, however, I'm going to cut away from the emulator here. I'm going to show you a list, loading up Microsoft Word over here, of what exactly I plan on doing, and in what order. So, here it is, the list of everything we will do in this Let's Play. First, we'll get the lamp from Link's house, take that into the Hyrule Castle dungeon, we'll get the boomerang there, and rescue Princess Zelda. Yay! Once we do that, we'll go straight to the Eastern Palace, we'll get the bow and arrow there, and the pendant of courage. With that, we will be able to get the uh, Pegasus boots from the Elder, who is just over there in the Eastern Palace region. Once we got that, we will run over to the Sanctuary. We will get piece of heart number 7, just to the west of there. After that, we'll keep heading west to Kekriko Village. We'll get the first piece, uh, first four pieces of heart there. By the way, with these lists of pieces of heart, I'm numbering them as the player's guide does. So if you have the player's guide in your possession, or you find it somewhere online, I'll be referencing them by number there. While we're in the village, we'll also get our first two bottles and the bug catching net. And since we've got the boots, we can go ahead and get the Book of Medora while we're there. As we're getting those four pieces of heart, we'll have to segue in the Lost Woods a little bit. While we're there, we'll get the mushroom, and after we are done with all this business here, we'll take that straight over to the witch and maybe get some potions while we're over there. After that, we'll go to the water gate for piece of heart number five, and we'll go to the desert cave for number six. Once we've got those pieces of heart, we'll head over to the desert. We'll get the power glove there and piece of heart number eight. We will not complete the level at this time. With all this equipment, we'll visit the witch again for the magic powder, since she's had enough time to make it. We'll purchase the Zora's flippers for a outrageous 500 rupees. We'll upgrade our equipment as we need, the boomerang, fire shield, free potions, blah, blah, blah. And we'll get piece of fart number nine. We will then detour to Lake Hyla, since we have the flippers. Nice quick waterfall warp there, make nice convenient. We'll increase our arrow capacity if we have enough funding at that point. 
unfortunately I cannot do bombs at that point because by doing something later on we will need a lot of arrows. They will become my primary weapon even over my sword for a short time. We'll get 300 rupees from a thief on the south end of the lake. We'll also get the ice rod. Once we do all that, we can swim up the river there to the Bidge Hobo. We will get him his bottle, making our bottle count now three. Once all that's done, we can head to Death Mountain. We'll get the magic mirror from the old man in the cave. And we'll get pieces of art number 10 and 11. The one that's a drop from Spectacle Rock, as well as the one that's on top of the rock. Once we get those, we can enter the mountain tower, we can get the moon pearl, but we, again, we will not complete the level this time. Because, once we do that, we will perform the death mountain descent, and do a little skipping ahead. This will put us in the dark world a little earlier than we normally could be, and allow us to go through a lot of quick tasks. We'll get a lot of items here. Piece of part number 17 in the cemetery, we'll also get the magic cape ball over there. Since we're in the cemetery also, we will return to the Hyrule Castle escape route, accessing that one room we couldn't before, claiming the 300 rupees that are inside. While we're getting rupees, we can use them to play the chest game, get the piece of heart that's there, as well as the digging game, and we'll get that piece of heart. Hopefully it won't take too many attempts. While we're in the village area, we will also find the two 300 rupee locations there, netting a grand total of 600 rupees. This will make our cash flow very well good, and we will probably have to make some shopping trips for potions and bomb arrow capacities, all that good stuff, because we won't be able to hold any more money. We will also go south of the Haunted Grove, get pieces of heart 15 there. We'll go also get the shovel and get the flute, freeing the duck and allowing us to warp all throughout the light world however we need. To get more money, we will play the shooting gallery, uh, if I'm feeling lucky. Or we can go do the digging game, we'll get some more money, we'll get more bombs, more arrows, yay, but we'll, we'll, uh, we will we'll save 110 rupees, because we'll need those for later. We'll get a piece of part 14 in Lake Hilo, we'll get a piece of 13 on the Pyramid of Power. While we're in that region, we'll also get the Quick Medallion from the uh, Dude in the Circle of Stones. And once we do that, we can continue onward to the Palace of Darkness. Beat the boss there, we'll get the Magic Hammer. After that, we'll go to the Village of Outcast Dungeon. We will have to do the, dis the Death Mountain Descent one more time. We will complete everything except for being the final boss. We'll get him in his room. Everything will be fine. But most important thing we will get there is the Titan's Mitt. With that, we can upgrade our Fighter Sword straight to the Sem Tempered Sword. Yes, you never have to get the Master Sword in this game. <gasps> Shocking, isn't it? Well, while we're doing that, we'll visit the Bat. We'll double our magic capacity, and we'll get Piece of Heart number 20 by pounding the stakes south of the smithy. Once we get the Tempered Sword, we will have a chest available to us in the Dark World. We'll take that to the Desert Thief. We'll get our last bottle. Once we do that, <coughs> or me there, we'll return to Death Mountain for the Ether Medallion and the Blue Cane, the Cane of Burna. We will also, since we have that Master Sword with us now, albeit through an alternate means, we'll get the Bombos Medallion in the Desert and rush through the Watergate Dungeon getting the Hookshot there. Now we can go back get the piece of part we skipped over earlier, number 18 for the man who wears the cape, because you also need the hook shot to do that one. We'll beat Blind the Thief in the Village of Outcast Dungeon, and beat also the Dark World Swamp while we're in the... Ooh. Never mind. We'll either go do the Dark World's Dungeon, Dark Woods Dungeon, get the Fire Rod, or we'll segue for a brief second in the Dark World Swamp if I'm feeling like I don't have enough heart containers at the moment. And we'll get pieces of part 21 and 22 there. I might interchange steps 37 and 38. Once all that's done, we'll go to the Swamp Dungeon. We'll get the Cane of Sinai there and go over to the Ice Palace, get the Blue Mail. Once you've done all six dungeons at the beginning, we'll go to Turtle Rock and get piece of part 24. Mirror Shield will rescue Princess Zelda. Yay! Wait, isn't she still in the Light World? Hmm. After that, we go over to get piece of part 23 on Death Mountain, get through Ganon's Tower, defeat the wizard the first time. Yes, we defeat him the second time before the first time. And we'll get the Red Mount. Once we do that, we will head to the bomb shop, we'll open up the Pyramid of Power fully, we'll get the Golden Sword, Silver Arrows, and we will then go back, finish all the little pieces we forgot to before in the Light World, get the two pennants, get the Master Sword, re-upgrade to the Golden Sword, get piece of part number 12 in the Lumberjack's Tree, defeat the wizard for the first time, and go straight to Ganon, beating the game in a very roundabout fashion. 
questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments section, and we'll see you in the fall when we get through this game. Bye-bye, everybody.